Welcome to today's edition of Charlotte's Reading Adventure, presented by the Tivoli Theater. Charlotte and I would like to introduce today's special reader. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Beth Eaton. I'm director of Owen County CASA, Court Appointed Special Advocates to Children. And I'm here today to read one of my favorite books. It is actually going to be in uh, honor of our Owen Valley High School graduating class of 2020. I was honored to have been an instructional assistant at Spencer Elementary School when these young people were in fifth and sixth grades. And uh, this is my actually my graduation card to them as well. I hope you all enjoy it. If you have this book at home, please feel free to read along with me. The name of the book is Oh, The Places You'll Go by Dr. Seuss. Okay. Oh, The Places You'll Go. Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know. And you are the guy who will decide where to go. You'll look up and down streets, look them over with care. About some you will say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go down any not so good street. And you may not find any you'll want to go down. In that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. It's opener there in the wide open air. Out there things can happen and frequently do to people as brainy and footsy as you. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't stew, just go right along. You'll start happening too. Oh, the places you'll go. You'll be on your way up. You'll be seeing great sights. You'll join the high flyers who soar to high heights. You won't lag behind because you'll have the speed. You'll pass the whole gang and you'll soon take the lead. Wherever you fly, you'll be best of the best. Wherever you go, you will top all the rest. Except when you don't. Because sometimes you won't. I'm sorry to say so, but sadly it's true that bang-ups and hang-ups can happen to you. You can get all hung up in a prickly perch, and your gang will fly on. You'll be left in a lurch. You'll come down from the lurch with an unpleasant bump, and the chances are then you'll be in a slump. And when you're in a slump, you're not in for much fun. Unslumping yourself is not easily done. You will come to a place where the streets are not marked. Some windows are lighted, but mostly they're dark. A place you could sprain both your elbow and chin. Do you dare to stay out? Do you dare to go in? How much can you lose? How much can you win? And if you go in, should you turn left or right? Or right at three quarters? Or maybe not quite? Or go around back and sneak in from behind? Simple it's not, I'm afraid you will find, for a mind maker upper to make up his mind. You can get so confused that you'll start in to race down long wiggled roads at a breaknecking pace and grind on for miles across weirdish wild space, headed, I fear, toward a most useless place the waiting place for people just waiting, waiting for a train to go or a bus to come or a plane to go or the mail to come or the rain to go or the phone to ring or the snow to snow or waiting around for a yes or no or waiting for their hair to grow. Everyone is just waiting, waiting for the fish to bite or waiting for wind to fly a kite or waiting around for Friday night are waiting perhaps for their Uncle Jake or a pot to boil or a better break or a string of pearls or a pair of pants or a wig with pearls 
or another chance. Everyone is just waiting. No, that's not for you. Somehow you'll escape all that waiting and staying. You'll find the bright places where boom bands are playing. With banner flip-flapping, once more you'll ride high, ready for anything under the sky. Ready because you're that kind of guy. Oh, the places you go, there is fun to be done. There are points to be scored, there are games to be won. And the magical things you can do with that ball will make you the winningest winner of all. Fame, you'll be famous as famous can be, with the whole world watching you win on TV. Except when they don't, because sometimes they won't. I'm afraid that sometimes you'll play lonely games too. Games you can't win because you'll play against you. All alone, whether you like it or not, alone will be something you'll be quite a lot. And when you're alone, there's a very good chance you'll meet things that scare you right out of your pants. There are some down the road between hither and yon that can scare you so much you won't want to go on. But on you will go, though the weather be foul. On you will go, though your enemies prowl. On you will go, through the hack and cracks howl. Onward up many a frightening creek, though your arms may get sore and your sneakers may leak. On and on you will hike, and I know you'll hike far and face up to your problems, whatever they are. You'll get mixed up, of course, as you already know. You'll get mixed up with many strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step, step with care and great tact. And remember that life's a great balancing act. Just never forget to be dexterous and deft and never mix up your right foot with your left. And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 and three quarters percent guaranteed. Kid, you'll move mountains. So, be your name Buxbaum or Bixby or Bray or Mordecai, Ali Van Allen O'Shea. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. The end. Thank you, Beth. That was a wonderful story by Dr. Seuss. And remember to send us a picture of you reading your books so we can create a video on the big screen of the Tivoli when we reopen. And stay tuned for the next chapter of Charlotte's Reading Adventure.